Despite a growing international consensus for a Gaza ceasefire, Israel's military carried out new airstrikes in Gaza and laid siege to two hospitals on the enclave. Palestine Red Crescent says IDF has captured Al-Amal and Nasser hospitals in Gaza's Han Yunis city. Palestinians say that Israeli forces have stopped strikes on Rafah, where about half of Gaza's 2.3 million population are living. Palestinian medics say 30 people had been killed in Rafah in the last 24 hours. Palestine Red Crescent says Israeli forces have surrounded Al-Amal and Nasser hospitals in the southern city of Han Yunis. On the other hand, Israel's military said 20 militants had been eliminated in fighting and airstrikes around Al-Amal hospital over the previous 24 hours. This comes a week after IDF entered Gaza's key Al-Shifa hospital. Israel says hospitals in Gaza are used by Hamas as bases. However, Hamas and the medical staff deny these claims. Israel has also declared that it will stop working with the United Nations Relief Works Agency, UNRWA, and has accused the agency of perpetuating conflict. United Nations officials have accused Israel of blocking humanitarian supplies to Gaza. The European Union's foreign policy chief has alleged Israel is using starvation as a weapon of war. UNRWA are part of the problem, and we will now stop working with them. We are phasing, we are actively phasing out the use of UNRWA because they perpetuate the conflict rather than try and alleviate the conflict. After visiting the Rafa crossing over the weekend, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has renewed calls for the transportation of humanitarian aid into Gaza. He also spoke about Israel's decision to not allow UNRWA convoys into the Gaza Strip. The decision not to allow UNRWA's convoys to go to northern Gaza, where we have a dramatic starvation situation, is totally unacceptable. And those that took that decision must assume the responsibility facing history of the consequences of the decision in relation to the dramatic situation of the people in northern Gaza. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.